so what is up my crazy subscriber this is joking john city for and today there was a huge leak in the morning and also i took a big leak on call of duty ghosts that was 100 percent real so anyways in canada some random ass retailer from eb games or gamestop or some kind of game shop because i don't know what the hell they have over there in canada but uh somebody leaked out a whole poster for the next Call of Duty 2016, which is kind of pathetic. If, if that guy was working under me and this guy leaked out the whole shit for the next game, I'll be pissed off, I'll fire his ass, because then my freaking you know business will be in risk of not even getting the game next time for a midnight release. So I'll be pissed off whoever this guy's working for. Um, so anyways, um, so yeah, let me show you guys the poster. Let me show you guys how it looks. As you can see, Call of Duty Infinite is 100% confirmed. And what is this? If you guys look in the bottom right corner, Call of Duty 4 is going to be coming up. Oh, yeah. oh. Ah. So Call of Duty 4 will only be available if you pre-order the Legacy Edition. So you cannot buy it by itself and pay like maybe 40 bucks or 30 bucks, however much it's going to be. So it's kind of like uh, Activision is trying to hold Call of Duty 4 hostage at this point. Like if you want this game, you got to cuff up some money, man, and fucking point a knife at you and shit. Like it's crazy. Why would they do this? Why don't they just sell it separately? If they are going to sell it separately, then somebody correct me, please, because that would be great. I would just buy Call of Duty 4 and be like, what the hell is an infinite warfare? What's that? How do you even eat that? Like, what the fuck is that? So, um, it's kind of weird they're releasing both games together because don't you want us to play the new game over the old games? Like, it's obvious at this point that you don't even trust your new games. And I'll talk about that whole situation in a different video because this is about to go down with a rant because it just makes it sound so stupid. Why would they release an old game along with a new game when the old game is actually good compared to the new game? So, ugh, man, I can't wait to make that rant. So, wait for it until tomorrow maybe. Like, I'll work on a video and you guys will be able to see my rant and tell you guys the truth. Now, how Infinity Ward is messing up at fucking making games right now. So, um, anyways, yeah, man, it's going to be badass to play Call of Duty 4, to be honest. It's going to be free-for-all 24-7 for me, or maybe some ground war. Hopefully, it's working. Another thing that's worrying me the most is that they're going to fuck up the servers. You see, in Xbox One, they released this whole bundle where they released uh, Halo 2, Halo 3, and Halo 4. And a lot of YouTubers out there, a lot of people on Twitter were saying like, oh, I can't wait to jump into Halo 2, play the old school Halo, and I remember Halo 2 was the best, blah, blah, blah. They jump into Halo 2 and the servers don't even work. Like, you, it will take you hours to find a fucking game. Like, how is that even possible? How did 343 Studios mess up that game? Like, it's fucking incredible how they did it. So, um, I think Activision is going to do the same thing with Call of Duty 4. Don't you guys think about that? Like... I think they're gonna do it on purpose. Like they're gonna be like making up excuses, saying like, "Oh, we forgot to like, you know, fix the codec, or like, oh, we forgot to put this on the servers, blah blah." Or the servers are outdated. We have to make new ones. We gotta make a whole new game, blah. blah. They're gonna come up with the biggest excuses of all time. I'm telling you, and they're gonna bullshit on you guys, and they're gonna be like, "Sorry, we can't fix it." So you're gonna keep the game that costs like 50 bucks when it should have cost 20, and you know you wasted your whole money on that shit. So it's gonna be something to be worried about, guys. And uh, to me, like, it's yeah, it's going to be worried, man, because I'm coughing up a lot of money. Like, what the fuck? You know, if, if I buy your game, it better be fucking working. They better hold a beta. They better hold a fucking beta early. Like, maybe they should hold, like, two betas. One for Call of Duty 4 and the other one for Call of Duty 4. Who the fuck is Infinity Warfare? Like, nobody wants to play that shit. So, um, so yeah, man, like, it's, this is a whole total new weirdness. And I don't know how this business practice works, to be honest. So, um, another thing is that I know some of you guys are, like, worried about the date. Like, I know some of you guys are like, what the hell? Like, this says 4-11-2016. Are you trying to troll us, Joe? If you go to charlieintel.com, they have the picture up still. So, um, since it's Canadian, I'm pretty sure the dates over there are backwards. So, um, if you put it, like, on the U.S., you know, time, it will be releasing on November the 4th. So, I know some of you guys are like saying that, oh, Joel, you're getting trolled by the picture because it says 411. No, it's actually 114 for us, and uh, the Canadian will be 411. I don't know, those kinds of dates are fucking weird. I don't know why would they put it like that in, Can in Canada. It don't make sense, you know, to put the day first and then the month. Like, it should be the month and then the day, so. Yeah, we all have it different, guys. We all have it different. We all live in different countries, so I'm sorry about, about correcting the dates. <laughs> so uh, hopefully this doesn't throw up some controversy and leave a dislike because, oh, you don't understand Canada. Whatever. You see, one of your retailers fucking leaked out this whole information, so you might fucking start 
thinking twice before you insult me and shit. So anyways, what do you guys think about this whole situation, about this poster, you know? The whole thing is already revealed. It's going to be 100% confirmed that it is Call of Duty Infinite Warfare. Call of Duty 4 is coming back, and uh, man, you know, I can't wait. It's going to be crazy this time. This is going to be, you know, a lot of things to upload. So I'll see you guys later and subscribe for more first-person games.